G'day folks, today I'm going to dispel a myth and catch trout with witchetty grubs, otherwise known as cockchafer beetles. They are known for being a poor trout bait, so let's go and see if we can prove that theory wrong. I just went out and dug some worms to go fishing. There's plenty of worms under there. Great big garden worms. Beautiful. But while I was there, I dug up some of these grubs. I'm going to use them for bait, so I want to try and break a couple of myths. There is a myth that these grubs are not a very good trout bait. When I was growing up, I was always told that these were witchetty grubs. The big yellow grubs which we chip from under the soil and get out with a cable from under the gum trees are bardi grubs. But if you Google search witchetty grubs, you don't see photos of these. You see photos of bardi grubs. These are not actually really witchetty grubs. I'm 40 years old and it's taken me until now, until the age of 40 years, to find out exactly what they are. They are called red-headed cockchafers. Can you believe that? A red-headed cockchafer. This one's got a brown head because he's trying to tunnel away, but there we go. You can see a bit of red on his head there if I scrape the mud off. We call them witchetty grubs, but that is incorrect. They can be called white curl grubs. But I think white curl grubs covers a whole variety of, of different sorts of these things. These are red-headed cockchafers. Cockchafer. Sounds like something that might happen when you walk too far with wet pants on or something. There's also a black-headed cockchafer. And they'll both be referred to as white curl grubs. But to be specific, this is the red-headed cockchafer. And they turn into a black African beetle or African black beetle and fly away and lay more eggs in sort of springtime, late winter, early spring, and through most of spring. These red-headed cockchafers are a perennial grub, which means they live for around two years. The eggs lay in the ground from their parents, I suppose you could say, in, in the springtime. The eggs sit underground until after Christmas when they hatch, and we get baby little ones like this little fellow that's running away. Now, they will lay underground there for 12 to 18 months, and they don't come up at all. The black-headed cockchafer will come up and chew things off the surface, off, off the ground, from underneath the, the grass and leaf litter and stuff. These red-headed cockchafers, they will stay underneath the ground and they will live on decomposing leaf litter or tree roots, just decomposing plant matter and stuff under the ground. And they'll live in total darkness underground for around that 12 to 18 month cycle before they finally come to the surface their skin goes hard, they grow wings, they fly away, and then they lay eggs for the next lot of cockchafers. These can make a real mess of your lawn. As they come up, they make a little hole in the ground. If there's lots of them in a small area, you'll see lots of little holes. But these cockchafers, it's a common belief that they are a poor trout bait, that they're not much good for catching trout. It's commonly known that the fish don't like them. I actually asked on my Facebook page, Robbie Alexander Photography and Fishing, a while back, what they were called, and I got a wide range of answers, ranging from white curl grub, witchetty grub, barty grub, bait. But the real answer is that they are a red cockchafer grub, and do they catch trout? We're going to go and find out. I'm going to go and see if we can bust the myth on these things as bait, and see if we can turn them into big trout. Let's go fishing. Here's a big one. There's a big cockchafer. There's a nice little one. I'll try this one first. Bit of everything in there. I've got some, some worms, some cockchafers, and even a dirty great mealy worm. Right, I'm going to get my hook, pierce it right through the centre of my cock chafer. <laughs> there it is. Just going to rig it just like that, nothing fancy. Right, got him. Oh, I lost him. That was a bite on the cock chafer. Oh yes, I definitely had a take on the cockchafer, but he took off with my cockchafer. Oh, there's a touch on the cock 
Jafer. You got him. Got him on the cock, Jafer. Yeah. On the cock, Jafer. Let's put that myth to bed, folks. And I'll get to keep me cock, Jafer, by the look of it. No, I just saw it fall off. Bugger. Because I haven't got any more. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Look at that. There's a nice brown trout. A bit lean, which is sort of common for this time of year. Around about 30 centimetres long. Taken on the cock chafer grub. Or the witchetty grub. People say witchetty grubs aren't good bait. I only bought you know, four or five grubs with me. Because I just wanted to catch one fish just to prove a point. <laughs> and I... Uh, I lost one to a fish, one to a snag, the other two are a bit small, I've caught this long, skinny little slender fish. There you go, buddy. Go back in and choose your food wisely. Do witchetty grubs catch trout? Yes, they do. Have I busted a myth? Yes, I have. Myth busted.